Welcome, I'm Joshi, and in this playthrough of Marvel Champions, we have Black Panther and Hulk versus Claw. Uh, obviously, Hulk has wandered into Wakanda and got in the middle of a fight between Black Panther and Claw, so he's going to help out. Uh, we are fighting Claw in expert difficulty. We have Hulk with an aggression deck and Black Panther with a justice deck, so let's go through the setup. So, the main scheme underground distribution we need to search the encounter deck for the defense network side scheme and reveal it. Just here. Shuffle up the encounter deck. So when revealed, we place an initial one threat for the player here. It comes in with two, so all up it's going to have four threat. And it's going to put a crisis icon into play. Which I don't have ready. There you go. Uh, meaning we can't remove threat from the main scheme. Advance to stage 2b. And it says when revealed, discard cards from the encounter deck until the minion is discarded. Put that minion into play engaged with the first player. There's radioactive man, so he comes in engaged with T'Challa. And then we have to resolve anything on the uh, the villain, and it says when revealed, search the encounter deck discard pile for the Immortal Claw, which is right here, and reveal it. So it's going to come in with six threat per player. Oh, sorry, three threat per player, so six threat all up. And it's going to give us an acceleration icon. Okay. So with that, Drop our hand size so Charlie gets a hand size of six. So we've got energy, clear the area, vibranium, Avengers Mansion, ancestral knowledge, and Wakanda forever. We will mulligan the ancestral knowledge and draw one more card. We got Shuri. Part of our setup, we can search our deck for a Black Panther upgrade and add to our hand. We will do that now and grab Tactical Genius and shuffle our deck. And then Bruce will get his five cards. We have Mockingbird, Dropkick, Hulk Smash, Suborbital Leap, and another Suborbital Leap. Hmm. We'll throw away both our Suborbital Leaps and draw two more cards. Skilled Strike and a Combat Training. Okay. So, firstly. Chala, we're going to spend four resources to put an Avengers Mansion. So max one per player. You can exhaust Avengers Mansion, choose a player that player draws one card. We will do that. Draw another Wakanda forever. We're going to spend two resources to put in Tactical Genius. Uh, which is part of our Wakanda Forever ability when we're in Black Panther. A special on this is remove one threat from a scheme, two threat instead if it's the final step in the sequence, which we are about to do. So we flip up the Black Panther. He has Retaliate 1. We're going to spend a Wakanda Forever for a Wakanda Forever, which has resolved the special ability of each of the Black Panther upgrade you control in any order. The only one we control is Tactical Genius. And it's the last one we have, so it's going to be two threat from a scheme. Two threat off defense network, and Black Panther is going to thwart for two to get that out. Okay, over to Bruce Banner. We will use our expert research action to draw one card and choose and discard one card from our hand. We have an unstoppable force. We won't need that. Flip up. We're going to play a Skilled Strike to give us plus two to our attack, taking our attack to five. And then we're going to attack using three physical resources for a Hulk Smash, which is when you make a basic attack, you get plus 10 to the attack for that attack if you pay for only using physical resources, the attack gains overkill. So we're swinging for 15 all up. Seven goes on Radioactive Man. And then the rest. 
Oh, sorry. And Immortal Claw should have given Claw Digital 10 hit points, so he's actually at 46 to start off with. So 15 damage. So 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Taking him down to 38. Already up. Holt gets four cards. We've got Hand Cannon, Spider Man, Miles Morales, Power of Aggression, and Yarnborn. Black Panther gets five cards. We have a Strength, Clear the Area, Wakanda Forever, another Clear the Area, and the Golden City. All right, we get three threat on the main scheme. So it's one per player plus the acceleration icon in play. Uh, Claw is going to attack Black Panther. He will defend this. So Claw is going for one plus two and deal one damage to each hero. So Panther will defend all the damage and retaliate for one. But then we cop one damage to each hero for the star activation. Uh, Claw is going to attack Hulk. We will we'll defend this. One, two, three, four. So four damage. We take one damage. Get our encounter cards. Okay, so attached to Claw, he now has Retaliate. We can spend one of each resource to discard this card. And the villain scheme. So he schemes for two. And if that activation deals damage to your hero exhaust hero, it does not. So it's just two threat. Okay, over to Hulk. We're going to spend. Oh, oh are we? We're going to spend power of aggression for two uh, resources for an aggression card to put the hand cannon upgrade into play. So this comes in with three counters. And we can, uh, when we make a basic attack, we can exhaust the hand cannon to remove one counter from it. We get plus two attack and overkill. We will then spend one resource to put Yarnborn into play, uh, which is restricted, so max two restricted cards per player. After your hero attacks an enemy, we can spend a physical resource to, to deal two damage to an enemy. And that's all we're going to do there for now. Over here, we'll exhaust Avengers Mansion, draw a card, getting us one way or another. We can use a strength to put the Golden City into play, which we can exhaust the Golden City when we're in Alter Ego to draw two cards. We are going to do a clear the area. Take two threat off the Immortal Claw. Taking that to four. We're going to do a clear the area. Take two threat off underground distribution. Flip down to char draw two cards with a Golden City. Got Sonic Rifle and Vibranium. I'll throw away the Sonic Rifle and hold on to the Vibranium. And we're ready. Four cards for Hulk. We have a Crushing Blow, Banner's Laboratory, Limitless Stamina, and Plan B. And for Charlie, we get another five cards. Decks up six. We have Vibranium Suit, Multitasking, Genius, One Way or Another, and Panther's Claws. Okay, we have three threat to go on the main scheme. Claw is going to attack Hulk. We will defend. He's going for one. That's his two boost cards. So three damage and exhaust each ally you control. So three, we have a defense three, does no damage to us. Then he's going to scheme over here with T'Challa and Alter Ego. For two plus two, so four. Putting us at 10 out of 12. Get our encounter cards. Villain schemes. So scheme for two, plus two, which is going to advance the main scheme. 
So secret rendezvous, rendezvous, discard cards from the deck until we discard a minion, put them into play. Engage with the first player. Uh, there's an armored guard. He's tough. And he has guard, so we can't attack the villain while he's engaged with us. And this will throw it out if it gets the 16 8 per player. So, boom, we can either spend one of each resource or exhaust each character control. We'll just exhaust. Okay. Over here, we use our Avengers Mansion to draw a card. Use Golden City to draw two more cards. So we've got a Helicarrier and a Counterintelligence. We're going to use the Vibranium to put our suit into play, which is another Black Panther upgrade, which we can move one damage from a hero to an enemy, or two damage if it's the last step in the sequence. We're going to use Genius to put our Claws into play, which again, another Panther upgrade, we can deal two damage to an enemy or deal four damage instead if this is the final step of the sequence. Uh, we're going to spend three resources to put the heli carry into play. So we can exhaust the carry and choose a player to reduce the resource cost of the next card they play this phase by one. Flip up to Panther, we'll use the carry to pay for the Wakanda forever, reducing it to zero. So we're going to... We're going to move one damage from Panther to knock the tough off the guard here. We will then deal two damage to an enemy which is an attack so we'll put it on the armored guard and then we're going to last step in the sequence remove two threat uh, from a scheme which will be off the immortal claw that's us done over there We will spend a resource for a limitless stamina, which allows us to ready our hero. We will then attack and exhaust our hand cannon. It's giving us plus two to the attack plus overkill, so it's going to be five damage. One goes on the armored guard, and the other four goes on the claw. Taking down to 33. We do not get retaliated on because it was overkill. We will then spend one resource to put plan B into play, uh, which we can exhaust plan B and discard one random card from our hand and we'll deal two damage to an enemy. And we shall ready. All right, Panther gets five cards. We have Skilled Investigator, Agent Coulson, Wakanda Forever. Under surveillance and turn the tide. Hulk gets four cards. We have counterattack, limitless strength, thunderclap, and a movable object. Okay, we get three threat on this scheme. Uh, Claw is going to attack Panther. He will defend. Going to be one. Just the one. Take no damage and retaliate for one. It's going to attack Hulk. Hulk will take it. One, two, three, four, four damage. Takes down to 12. We get out encounter cards. Okay, Claw attacks you. If this attack deals damage, place one threat in the main scheme. So he's going to attack again on Black Panther for one, plus two, three. And the weapon's trying to get comes into play engaged with us. So three damage. He's down to eight. We retaliate for one. And places one threat on the main scheme. 
Then Hulk's encounter card, we have Tiger Shark in play. Back over to Hulk. We're going to spend Limitless Strength for three resources for a Thunderclap. It's not an attack, but we can choose up the three different enemies and deal three damage to each of them. So we'll do three to Tiger Shark, three to the Weapons Runner, which knocks him out, and three to Claw, taking him down to 28. We will then attack with Hulk using our hand cannon to bump our attack up to five. So Tiger Shark takes three. With the overkill, two more spills onto Claw, taking him down to 26. Uh, after your hero attacks an enemy, we can spend a physical resource, which we'll do. Deal two damage to an enemy, which is also not an attack, so we'll do another two damage to Claw. We'll then exhaust plan B, discard one random cover of hand, if I got the one and deal 2 damage to the enemy, which is also not an attack. Take him down to 22. Okay, everyone, Black Panther will use Avengers Mansion to draw a card. We have a Beat Cop. Alright, we will put in a Skilled Investigator, which costs us nothing. Uh, after, it says, ah, here is what's after a side scheme is defeated. We can exhaust it to draw one card. We'll use Agent Coulson to pay for, actually, use our Halley Carrier to do a Wakanda Forever. So we will firstly. Deal two damage to an enemy, which is an attack, so we'll get retaliated for one. We'll then move one damage from our hero to an enemy, which we'll put it back on Claw, taking down to 19. And that's not an attack. And then our last step in the sequence, we'll move two threat from a scheme, which will take off the Immortal Claw. Which means he loses 10 hit points, taking down the 9, and the acceleration token goes away. Um, we'll, we'll play Turn the Tide after your hero thwarts. This is a thwart and removes all threat from a scheme, deal three damage to an enemy. So we'll do three more damage to Claw. Take another six, he retaliates on us again. We'll exhaust Skilled Investigator. So after a side scheme is defeated, exhaust doesn't draw one card. We have a Sonic Rifle. We'll spend Three resources to bring in Agent Coulson. When Agent Coulson is play, we can search our deck and discard pile for a preparation card and add it to our hand. We'll grab counterintelligence. Coulson's going to thwart for two. Taking one consequential damage. We'll then flip down, use the Golden Sea to draw two cards, energy daggers, and a turn the tide. I was wanting to put counterintelligence in the play, but I cannot pass up the energy daggers at this point. So the energy daggers in, and we've got all our Black Panther upgrades now. All right, we're all ready up. Okay, Hulk gets four cards, got a Thunderclap, Clobber, Limitless Strength, and a Dropkick. Charlie gets six cards, which completely empties our deck, so we get an extra encounter card.
We picked up an Ironheart, Mockingbird, Vibranium, Wiccan, Nick Fury, and, and Beat Cop. Okay. Uh, two threat goes in the main scheme. Claw is going to attack Hulk. He'll take it. The one plus two, three, four, five, six. Taking us down to six. Then he's going to scheme on Black Panther, which is going to empty the deck, which means we get a permanent acceleration token on the main scheme. The schemes for two plus two, so four. Taking us up to eight out of 16. Get our encounter cards. Oops. That one goes to Hulk. Another one goes to Panther. Uh, so villain attacks us. We have to defend to be safe. So one, two, three, four. So we defend for three for our defense. So we take one damage. Now, counter cards for Panther. His weapons runner, weapons runner surges when he's revealed. Okay, Master of Evil. Uh, when revealed, discard cards from the counter deck until a Master of Evil minion is discarded. Put that minion get engaged with the first player. There's Tiger Shark. Hawk's first player, so he gets engaged there. And we have an Armored Guard. Comes up with Tough and Guard. Okay. T'Challa becomes first player. We will use the Golden City to draw two cards. We have an Ancestral Knowledge. And a clear the area. We're going to use a beat cop. All right, we're going to use Avengers Mansion first to draw a card. We have a Wakanda Forever. We are then going to use Ancestral Knowledge, a Heli Carrier, and Vibranium. Play Nick Fury. So after Nick Fury enters play, we can choose either remove two threat from a scheme, draw three cards, or deal four damage to an enemy. We're going to draw uh, three cards. We have another clear the area, Sonic Rifle, and Vibranium. We're going to spend two resources to bring in Ironheart. We're now at our ally limit of three allies. When Ironheart uh, is played from my hand, we draw one card. We've got a genius. Okay. Oh, and the Master of Evil should have six threat on it. And puts an acceleration icon in the play. Okay, what's Hulk going to do on his turn? Possibly Thunderclap, possibly Dropkick. We'll see. Alright, we'll flip up to Panther. We are going to use Mockingbird to pay for Wakanda forever. So... Firstly, we'll choose a player, which will be ourselves, to deal one damage to the villain and to each enemy engaged with that player. And this is not an attack, so one damage there, knocks the tough off there, one damage there. Uh, we'll then move one damage from your hero to an enemy. So we'll do that, draw on the weapon run to get rid of him. We'll then deal two damage to an enemy, which will do it to Tiger Shark. And then our last step sequence will remove two threat from a scheme, which will take it off Masters of Evil. Okay. 
we'll have Nick thwart for two. We'll have Agent Coulson thwart for two off the main scheme. Ironheart will thwart one off the main scheme. We will use Wiccan to clear the area. So remove two threat from a scheme. If this removes the last threat from that scheme, draw one card. So we'll do that to get rid of the Master of Evil. So we draw one card. We're also going to trigger Skilled Investigator to draw another card. It's got one way or another. And multitasking. Spend three resources to put in a sonic rifle. So the sonic rifle comes with two counters on it. And we can uh, exhaust this to remove one charge counter from it and confuse an enemy. We'll do that now. So that we can confuse Claw. We're going to thwart for two. Black Panther. We'll then use multitasking to pay for a clear the area. Take two more thread off there. Uh, we won't hold on to beat cop. Okay. Now Hulk. For three resources, it's going to do a thunderclap, which is up to three different enemies, deal three damage to each of them, so three damage on the armored guard, and uh, three damage onto tiger shark, and three damage onto claw, which is not an attack, so there's no retaliate. Uh, we will. After your hero attacks an enemy, we'll spend a physical resource to deal two damage to the enemy. We'll do it to Tiger Shark to knock him out. And then we'll exhaust Plan B and discard a random card, which is just our clobber remaining, to deal two damage to an enemy. So we'll do it to Claw. Just going to knock him into the next stage. So he comes in with Tough. And he has 22 hit points per player, so 44. And we'll flip down with Hulk. Ready up. Okay, Black Panther gets five cards. We have Wakanda Forever. Wakanda Forever. Turn the Tide. Sonic Rifle. And a Beat Cop. Bruce Banner gets five cards. We have Skilled Strike, Crushing Blow, Skilled Strike, Limitless Stamina, and Audacity. Okay. Three threat on the main scheme. Claw goes to attack Black Panther. Nick Fury will jump in the way of that. So he's coming in for two plus three. So five all up. Nick gets knocked out. Then over here, he goes to scheme on Bruce, but he's confused. And then we get our encounter cards. Villain schemes. So he's going to scheme for three plus 
two, so five. She has to nine. And Sonic Boom, either spend one of each resource or exhaust each character control. We're just going to exhaust, unfortunately. All right. Hulk becomes first player. All right. Uh, we'll use our experimental research ability to draw a card and discard a card. Found this rage, I don't want that. Flip up to Hulk. We'll spend Audacity, which is after you spend this card, deal one damage to the villain for a limit of stamina, which allows us to ready our hero. So we're ready, and we deal one damage to knock the tough off. We are then going to attack with two skilled strikes. Give us plus two, plus two, so plus three, so we're at seven. Plus we'll use our last hand cannon to make it an attack of nine under claw. Taking him down to 35. He retaliates for one. We'll then uh, source plan B, discard a random card, which is just our crushing blow, to deal two damage to an enemy. We could have also done Yonborn either way, but yeah. Okay. We'll use our Sonic Rifle, the last charge on that. Confuse Claw. Use our Avengers Mansion to draw a card. It's under surveillance. We'll use a Turn the Tide to do a Wakanda Forever. So we'll choose a player, we'll choose ourselves to deal one damage to villain and to each enemy engaged with the player. So just do one damage there, it's not an attack. We'll uh, move one damage from your hero to an enemy. So go back up to nine, put one on claw. We'll move one threat from a scheme. And then as the last step in our sequence, we shall deal four damage to an enemy, which is an attack. He can claw down to 27, he retaliates on us for one. We'll then use our heli carrier to pay for the next Wakanda forever. And we'll do it all again. So we choose ourselves to deal one damage. To the villain in each minion engaged with us. We'll move one damage from us under claw. We'll move one threat from the scheme. And then we'll deal four damage to Claw. Taking him down to 21, and he retaliates on us for one. I'm then going to spend two resources. We're under surveillance on the main scheme, which get, pushes the threshold to plus four, so it has to get to 20 to scheme out. Uh, we will then thwart two off here. And we'll flip down and hope this goes all right. Okay, Hulk gets four cards. Got a drop kick, clobber, machine man, and another clobber. Charlie gets six cards. We have clear the area, Shuri, energy, vibranium, turn the tide, and counter intelligence. Okay, so three threat goes on the main scheme. Uh, Claw will attack Hulk. We will have Ironheart defend it. It's coming in with T. 
2 plus 3, 4, and exhaust each ally you control. I guess that now becomes Black Panther, so anyway, if it doesn't, then I'm making it harder on myself. Okay, Ironheart gets knocked out. And uh, then he goes to scheme on T'Challa, but he's confused. Get our encounter cards. Fill in scheme, so scheme for three plus two is five. Pushing that to 13 out of 20. And Shadow Past. So I reveal our set aside Nemesis minion and their side scheme, so Killmonger comes into play. Killmonger cannot take damage from Black Panther upgrades. Usurp the Throne comes into play. With six threat, has a hazard icon, so it'll deal us an extra encounter card. And then these get shuffled into the deck. Okay, Black Panther becomes first player. We use Golden City to draw two cards. Kinda Forever. We're kinda Forever. Good. Use the Avengers Mansion to draw another card. For strength. Alright. Spend two resources to bring in Shuri. I should just play and search our deck for an upgrade and add to our hand. Let's check and see if there is one. We don't have one. Ready. Now I figure we just need to try and uh, hit claw for all we've got. Let's see what we can do about that. Okay, so we'll... User turn the tide, oh, we'll, we'll flip up, it's a panther. Use turn the tide to pay for Wakanda forever. Uh, we'll choose a player, we'll choose ourselves, do one damage to minion and to the villain, but of course our black panther upgrades don't work on Killmonger, so it's just gonna be one damage onto Claw. Uh, we will remove one threat from a scheme. Take it off the usurp the throne. Move one damage from a hero to an enemy. So again, we're going to claw, take him down to 19. And then our last step, deal four damage to an enemy, which is an attack. So here will tell the honest for one. We'll then use energy to overpay for another Wakanda forever. So do it again. One damage to minion and claw, but we can't do it to Killmonger. Move one threat from a scheme. Uh, move one damage from ourselves to an enemy. And then deal four damage to claw. Which retaliates one. Team down to nine. We'll then. Spend a counter intelligence to clear the area. Just to take two off this. Got strength to hold on to. Shuri will attack for one. And she'll get retaliated. So she takes one consequential damage. Plus her retaliate from Claw. Panther will attack for two. Came down to six. He gets retaliate for one. Now it's all up to whatever Hulk can do. I'm pretty sure Hulk can do it. So. We'll spend two resources to do a clobber, which is deal three damage to your enemy. If this is the first card you played this round, we'll turn this card to your hand, which it is. So we deal three damage. We take retaliate. And then we can just, uh, after your attacks, uh, an enemy, spend a physical resource 
to deal two damage to an enemy. Cobble wasn't attacked, so we'd do that to do damage. Then we'll exhaust plan B, discard a random card from my hand, which is just going to be drop kick, do another two damage. And we still could have swung for another three with Hulk. Um, he would have not taken any retaliate from that, so he's still sitting there on three health. So, there you have it. Hopefully, didn't make any raw mistakes there. If I did, I'll be sure to point them out or let me know, and I'll update in the description. I uh, hope you enjoyed this game of two handed play expert against Claw. Uh, Hulk, strongest one there is, but surprisingly, Black Panther did all right too. Uh, if you enjoyed this game, please make sure to like, comment, subscribe. And I'll catch you next time. Thanks for watching.